on that volcano. I even made tiny villages to be engulfed by the lava flow. All you had to do was switch it on. And you blow it up in front of the whole class. Lucy. What? Your tail's still on fire. <laughs> yeah, I think something must have gone wrong or something. Uh, that would explain why I've got tiny melted villages in my fur. Why did I have to partner the clumsy idiot wolves? Okay, first of all, we're not idiots. And second of all? I haven't thought of anything yet. <gasps> you see, you're so stupid. You don't even know you're stupid. What? What's that supposed to mean? And then I said, we don't want your sort here. Now leave before I do something I'll regret. Wow! Oh, you told him. I know. That's one duckling who won't be back in a hurry. Ah, <sighs> wolves! They need intensive training before they're even allowed to be called stupid. Ah, yes. If nature had meant wolves to be clever, she'd have made them rabbits. But how could they even begin to understand the gifts that nature has given us? We're better than them, and that's a fact. We're rabbits, and we're a thousand times smarter than they'll ever be. Yeah, and what's with the howling? They're just so slow and brainless. <gasps> oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Oh, really? I mean, as well as our day trip to Pond World. Hey, <laughs> listen to this. How many wolves does it take to change a light bulb? None. They couldn't catch it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what do you call a wolf with no brain? Mm. Barry! Barry! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what, what do you call a wolf holding a spade? Cliff! No, that's not right. <laughs> No, naughty, naughty rabbits! Get away! You are one-year-old twins. Do you have any idea of your destructive power? This is my favourite top. And this is a very important component from the volcano. If you'd broken this, there'd have been nothing to stop it overheating and it would have blown up and... Tell me it was thrown here by the blast. Oh, dear. We should have said, like, hey, how many satellite channels can you pick up with those ears? <laughs> <laughs> how can we always think of something after the argument's over? Oh, that's not for this argument. I just thought of it for the one I had with Duncan Elephant three weeks ago. Here she is. Say it. Listen, you two. I'm the one who... Hey, Lucy! How many satellite channels can you pick up with those ears? ears. <laughs> 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 ears. Excuse me? Yeah, and maybe it's your fault the volcano blew up. Maybe you're not so smart. I'm not smart. You wolves don't think I'm smart. Let me tell you something. I'm a rabbit. Do either of you have any idea what that means? Of course you don't. How could you even begin to understand the gifts that nature has given me? So I'll keep it simple. I'm better than you, and I know this for a fact. Because I'm a rabbit, and I'm a thousand times smarter than you'll ever be! Simon, I'm scared. Shoo! Get away! Go! Go on! Shoo! Hey, wolf! Just so you know, this is what a rabbit looks like. I know you've never seen one this close before. Get out of here! Shoo! You wolves are responsible for everything that's wrong in the world. 
ozone depletion, capitalism, <laughs> the state of British cricket. It's one big global wolf conspiracy, and I'm on to you. Thanks, Dad. She was really scary. I just had to save you from a fluffy little bunny rabbit. Do either of you wolves see anything unusual in that? Is it, is it me? Have I been sending out the wrong signals? Okay, you don't need to answer that. But get ready to change, because I'm going to show you once and for all what it is wolves do. <laughs> Could someone get this knot? <laughs> Another successful day at the Cabbage Patch? What's this? The unmistakable sound of a 300-pound wolf with bad breath and a limp, hiding behind a hawthorn bush 20 meters to the northwest. Ah! <laughs> Is there no end to my rabbit powers? <coughs> <coughs> Today is the day. You and that furry little tail part company. And could you keep your daughter away from my sons? I don't need aggravation in my own backyard. Oh, has my little girl been frightening your pack of savage killers again? Look, stop trying to change the subject. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it took to pick those cabbages? Wolves! I lost all the cabbages and my best sack is completely ruined! Did Wolf do that? No, I thought I'd try something different today. Of course Wolf did it! Coming here with their wolf ways, thinking they own the place. You know, we should teach them a lesson. Well, there's always my plan. Terrapin. Even if we could find a killer shark looking for work in this area, it's unlikely we could persuade Wolf to go swimming with a lump of raw meat strapped to his back. Actually, I've got an idea that might just work. Ah. You don't know what it is yet? Sorry, got carried away. <laughs> Hello? Call yourself a wolf? You're pathetic. Mom? My goldfish has more killer instinct than you. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Association of Canadian Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> We are withdrawing your membership. You are no longer allowed to be a wolf. All howling privileges are hereby revoked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucy! You are a rabbit to be reckoned with. <sighs> Could we please watch something where teenagers don't save the world? The association has decreed that I am no longer a wolf. From now on, I will be known as Steve. Oh, so who's going to be our dad now? My dear, this isn't a problem. Just tell me who you want me to bribe. Oh, no. Once you're out, you're out. It's this whole honor amongst wolves thing. But I can still save my boys. I failed you as a father. You need someone who can teach you how to be wolves. Someone better than me. So I'm taking you home. Isn't this our home? No, son. Wow, they made it look just like it. Was it government agents? Are they watching us now? No. When I say home, I mean the place where you were born. Where we lived right up until last year. Canada. I'll buy an atlas on the way to the airport. Start packing. Surely there's another way. A private tutor, perhaps? I'll have one flown in. No. This is the only way. But I don't want to go. I like it here. Do as I say. I am your father, and you will respect me. At least until we get to Canada and you start comparing me with other wolves. Now, start packing. <laughs> Ah, 
I don't know why I did that, but it felt great. Ow! But what's this? The unmistakable sound of a 165-pound wolf with pepperoni stains down his front, sitting alone in a clearing two miles to the southeast. Ah! Oh, is there no end to my rabbit powers? Moose! Moose! Harry, I am the demon of the forest. I've come for your soul. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I left it at home. Ah! Come on, Barry. Or can't wolves climb trees either? Lucy, I need it. We're going home tomorrow. Good, and I wish you were going sooner. I don't. <laughs> I... I didn't mean it. There's something I should have told you, Barry. Go away! Listen, it's about the volcano. It wasn't your... Get away from him, you bully! Do you think I could finish? Leave I... us alone! We don't want you here, you... Stupid rabbit! Well, I don't want you here either. In fact, I wish you'd never even come in the first place! They called me a stupid rabbit. Me! Well, there are two sides to every argument. Perhaps they felt you'd done something to annoy them. Oh, please! Their brains work so slowly, they don't even know what they've had for breakfast yet. Anyway, I haven't done a thing. I'm sure. But maybe you said something without thinking and now you're regretting it. Nope. Sometimes it can be hard to admit that one is in the wrong. Oh, come on. Those wolves are just upset because they know they're not as good as I am. But it isn't my fault I was born a rabbit. I can't help being one of the lucky ones. Mm. Lucy, this isn't you talking. Um, hello. Yes, it is. Unless there's an invisible lodger you haven't told me about. I'm sorry, Lucy. This attitude isn't welcome in my house. Fine. <sighs> so, Steve, this is to be our last afternoon tea. Cream puff. No, thanks. I, I've put on a few pounds since I've been here. Really? I hadn't noticed. I suppose I just got used to you being here. I've got to get in shape for when I'm a loner. I'm not going to be one of those creepy guys with matted fur and a scar across their face. I might even take up golf. I suppose you have to leave. Yes. Thought so. It's just that if you did stay, then there'd be less pressure on Barry and Simon. No other wolves to laugh and point. Wasn't Barry recently beaten up by Hugo Fieldmouse? That mouse had martial arts training. <laughs> oh, who am I trying to kid? The sooner I get my boys back home, the better. <sighs> Hi, Terrapin. Oh, hello. Are you coming round for... Suit yourself. Afternoon. <laughs> Sheep are so touchy. She's here. Don't look at her. Well, that's just fine. I don't need anyone. Morning. Lucy, we need to have a talk. Uh, if you're not too busy with your commitments as supreme being. Dad, you've been telling me my whole life that... Where are Peter and Emily? Who are Peter and Emily? <laughs> the twins! They were just there! Dad?
Hello? Have you seen my dad? Oh? The grown-up that I live with looks a bit like a rabbit. You don't live with anyone. What are you talking about? I just saw... Disappearing. <gasps> Terrapin, something's happening. Terrapin, I know it's scary, but you've got to come out and help me. Terrapin. I blamed Simon and Barry when the volcano blew up, but really, it was my fault. And instead of apologising, I said all these things I didn't mean. And now the wolves are leaving and it's all my fault. And if you want to slam the door in my face, I'll understand. But I'm really sorry and I really need your help. How can I help? I need a calligraphy set, some parchment, a fountain pen and some toast. Toast? Nightmares make you really hungry. Do you think they'll buy? Depends if there's room for a sheep dip. Could you at least wait until he's gone? They're like vultures circling a carcass. Just uh, taking one last look through the drawers. I know. It's awful when you leave something behind. Or someone. That'll be the uh, taxi. Looks like... Uh, this is it. I can't stand it any longer. I... What's this? Special delivery for Mr. Wolf. It's from the Association of Canadian Wolves. Due to a clerical error, we accidentally revoked your membership instead of sending you this certificate for being one of the most successful wolves ever. We are proud to have you live in England as one of our ambassadors. Huh. They're proud of me. So that's what that feels like. What's going on, Dad? I'll tell you what's going on. We're staying. No, oh, well, I do wish you'd make up your mind. Start unpacking, boys. The wolves aren't going anywhere. We're home. Wow. It looks just like England. <laughs> ah, boys, I'm wolf again. It's good to have you back, Dad. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Steve, though. Barry. Huh. I hope you're not insulted that I'm buying your forgiveness with food. No. I forgive you. Ooh, thank you, Terrapin. There, there. Now that's lovely. Okay, stop him eating now. Mm. Actually, Lucy, I think I might have maybe encouraged your attitude just a little. Uh, but from now on, I will set a better example and start respecting my fellow animals. Okay, shell boy, let's go. Where are we going? To get some cabbages. Remember? The green leafy things which live next to the big snarly dangerous thing? Coming.
<sighs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Hey, Lucy. Want to hang out? You're not supposed to be nice to me until after I've apologized. Uh, apologized for what? Remember how I called you clumsy idiot wolves? Whoa! Ooh. No. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Oh, right, I confess. It was me who blew up the volcano. Oh, okay. That's it? No yelling? Lucy, you're just a girl. You can't help blowing stuff up. Ice cream van! Ow! I'm sorry. I can't help kicking your tail. I'm a girl. Whoa! Ooh. How many K's are there in Canada? <laughs> <laughs>